<clears throat> he has about 30 wives, but um, uh, uh, he has about 300 children. Oh, my God. And uh, seriously speaking. Oh, my God. And I asked the wives, when I got there, I didn't meet the 30 wives. And I asked them, where are the others? And they told me, you know, they're around. Some have gone to meet their, their family and their things children. like that and their children who are living out of here. Mm. And like all women, I looked at Pa and I looked at them. <laughs> and I said, do you want to tell me that Pa is making his rounds? Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, why not? If he didn't have the power, he wouldn't have taken all those women. If you want to get that answer, <laughs> then let's meet Patience Fominion, who will be having a tete-a-tete -tete with <laughs> the Fonz wives, the queens of Com. Here is an exclusive chat with the Fonz wives. And the first question I have for the Fonz wives is, how many wives are there in total? How many wives does the Fon have? We are 36. 36. So how many wives live here in the Fonz Palace? 16. So I would like to ask you, Fonz wife here, are you happy? Is everything rosy? Or are there problems, controversies, jealousies, problems in day for you, or everything just they find fine all the time? Problems like what? Like if he, someone feed the head the banya, uh -huh. and for some time, a uh, phone. Mm -hmm. They decide to some someone there. Mm -hmm. And for the stubborn wives, the banyas that disturb, what do you, the other wives, what punishment do you give them? We gave yeah. a special house. Oh. When woman the humble, mm -hmm. when they could serve for another one is king, we did put we did take he enter for that house. We beat it. Yes. We gave a special yeah. grouse. We punish people in the way. Yes, yes. Okay. some chuku chuku grass. Mm. Okay. So, at what age did you come to the palace? Now, for which age were you come for palace? Fourteen years. Many bikini. Five. Four years. I get how many bikini in total? Three hundred. He has three hundred children in total. How many children stay here? Eighty-six. Okay. So if you were given it to come back here in the Fonz Palace, or you prefer to go get married to one rich businessman somewhere, young man, only here. Tell me why now. It's too nice here. Yes. Even with a rich businessman. Here. Okay. <laughs> I must remind you that the first wife present in the Fon's palace is dumb, yet the Fon married her. So it's to prove to you that the Fon doesn't marry by interest, he marries from the heart. Isn't that romantic? Let's continue with the chat. Um, um, what are the difficulties you face being a Fon's wife here? Because there are so many children, so the Fon cannot be fit. To maintain all the children. Mm -hmm. So tell me this other spicy part. Almost 16 wives. The fund has almost 16 wives. So how is the love making process going on? You see, are you tempted sometimes to go elsewhere because when the fun is aging gracefully, so maybe he might be tired before he goes around the 16 women. So how do you women cope? Really? But, uh, we are 16, mm -hmm. but those who are still delirious, de de young, young. Uh -huh. they're just around seven. Mm -hmm. The youngest wife, Ide, how old? Okay. Young, the youngest wife, Ide, how old? Just about 18 years. Oh, 18 years. Yes. Okay, you get how many bikini? Five. Four and eight, get how many bikini in total? He has 300 children in total. How many children stay here? 86. To the Fon's children. And here with me is... Now, what is your name? My name is Mildred. Mildred. How old are you? I'm 15 years old. So, um, being the Fon's daughter. Hmm? Mm -hmm. There are many other daughters around. How do you cope with that? Mm. We are having problems, but after the problems, we sit together and we 
Problems like what? Tell me. Tell us. We can even chorus and fight. Mm -hmm. Yes, after chorusing, we sit together and, and divide. Do you have problems with some of the other women who are not your mother? Yes, we, we, we have. They don't, they don't treat you well or? <laughs> some, some treat us well. When some our mother is not. Yes. Yes. The some don't treat you. They beat you? Yes. And when your mother comes, you go tell your mother. <laughs> huh? Yes, you have to say to your mother that, di that this mother did not give me food this way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. All is not rosy in paradise, but with great powers come great responsibilities. We can see. Of course, with great powers come great responsibilities. And we all understand that the life in a polygamous home is not rosy very warm very interesting the african family but a lot of difficulties but they do say you heard those women when patients did ask them will you prefer to stay here or go out and marry another rich man all of them insisted that they prefer to stay there so you understand that for for vincent you the second he is old but he's very powerful can you imagine keeping those 16 women and nobody wants to leave or 30 women and uh, going around 16 permanently like a big cock and nobody wants to leave. He should be doing something that you and I, we cannot do. <laughs> All right, here with me, looking at the bright side of life, is Bright Face. I love this group. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Bright Face. How are you people doing? Hello, we're doing fine. Yeah. yeah. And it seems as if something is cooking. You, you're preparing <laughs> a big, big project. It is called um, the Bright Face Hillside yeah. Festival. Yeah. And it is under the theme, Bringing Out the Talents in You. Exactly. And uh, what is wow. this festival all about? The Bright Face Hillside Festival is an avenue we are intending to bring students all over the Northwest region so that they can come and, you know, express the talents they have in them. Mm -hmm. We discovered that many young people graduate from school today. Instead of refiring, they retire back to their homes where they depend on their parents for savon, toilet roll and everything. <laughs> yeah. And we have discovered that instead of just wasting your life blaming the government, you can, by virtue of the talent you have in you, mm -hmm. you know, start doing something. For okay. example, the bright face were not employed by the government mm -hmm. to be doing what they are doing today. But by virtue of what we discovered in us, we have created a lot of impact in and out of go Cameroon. Boy, go, boy, so go, you go, can start doing go. something with the talent you have in you, and I believe you will make the difference. So this program is going to take place this coming Saturday, that is on the 5th of December, at the Banja Hill site, and we are calling upon the youth in the Northwest region to be part of this program. We are going to motivate them, give them incentives after they must have performed. It's just our own way of seeing how we can redir redirect this talent uh, found in these youth. And so we are calling even on you out there, if you know you can be part of this program by encouraging these young people, just die 7528 2883 and 7, I believe 5, 2, 8, 2, 8, 8, 8, 3. 3.